Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, according to Microsoft, we have one week left of official support for Windows 10. Because if we head to our calendar, in a week's time, on the 14th of October 2025, support, according to Microsoft, will have reached its end for Windows 10 22H2 on that date, which means this will be the last patch Tuesday that Windows 10 will receive an update. Now, if you want to know more about the end of support regarding Windows 10, I'll leave a playlist in the end screen because it'll give you all the info you would need. You can just go through that and find the relevant video for your question. But something that I just want to bring to your attention because I have actually seen one or two reports doing the rounds online regarding support ending on that date is, as you may well know, it's not impossible that one or two bugs could be introduced with the final Patch Tuesday security update. Which means that you're basically out on your own. Because after that date, Microsoft then is not required to roll out an update to fix those issues because support would have ended. So just a quick heads up, just kind of getting us all on the same page with this. Now, I'm not trying to fear monger, and I'll explain why. But just to let you know that if we head to Microsoft's support page regarding the ESU, the Extended Security Updates Program, check the playlist out if you want more info regarding ESU, as mentioned. Microsoft says that the ESU program helps reduce the risk of malware and cybersecurity attacks by providing access to critical and important security updates as defined by the Microsoft Security Response Center, MSRC for short, for devices running Windows 10, 22H2. ESU enrollment does not provide other types of fixes, feature improvements, or product enhancements. It also does not come with technical support. So that's Microsoft's official take on it. So as mentioned, if a bug is introduced and you don't sign up to the ESU, there's a good chance that it won't be patched. Now, with that being said, as I said, I'm not trying to fear monger. I personally think that Windows 10, six months to even a year after support ends, with no updates provided, I still think the OS will be relatively secure. If you don't visit dodgy websites and you practice good computing habits, check the Windows 10 end of support playlist out. You'll find something in there if you want more information about what I've just said. So it doesn't mean that after that last patch Tuesday security update rolls out, your device won't work. Everything will be fine for most people. I don't even know, think they will know the difference when it comes to your average home user and your average Joe. But obviously it is suggested and recommended that you do maybe, if you want to stick on Windows 10 and not go to Windows 11 or another operating system and platform, that you do try and get your hands on the ESU because obviously it will provide those important security updates as mentioned. And just a quick recap, because I will leave the video I posted on how I enrolled for the ESU. The ESU will be provided here on this page as a link you can click on and you can see my PC is enrolled. I'll leave a video for that plus the playlist in the end screen. So some interesting stuff. And another thing is, and what I would suggest if you don't want to move on from Windows 10 to Windows 11 or another operating system is you create a system restore point. Because if a bug or two is introduced and obviously you won't be getting updates to patch it, then you can always roll back to a previous restore point. And something else you can also do, by the way, just on another side note, is if bugs are introduced, what you can do is you can just head to your view update history, click on uninstall updates, and you can actually uninstall the update. But just take note, if you run a storage sense disk cleanup or a disk cleanup utility or any other C cleaner or disk cleaning utility and you uninstall updates, then you won't be able to roll back. So just take note of that. But you will be able to uninstall the update if you don't, if you haven't cleaned your system out regarding updates and obviously it'll just roll it back to the previous update where there were no bugs so there are a couple of workarounds 
that you can do. It's not doom and gloom. I'm just making this video to put us all on the same page regarding the possibility of bugs that may not be patched due to the end of support, which is fast approaching in a week's time. And just before I end this video, I'm almost certain, I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure that if a critical issue does arise on Windows 10, even on so-called unsupported devices, that Microsoft, just like they did with Windows 7, XP and so on, will roll out critical security updates to patch urgent issues. Especially because there are so many users still on Windows 10, I'm almost guaranteed that that will happen from time to time. So it's not the end of the road, so to speak, completely. I think Windows 10 has still got a lot of life left in it in regards to that end of support. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.